Aloha everybody. Mike Jutar, principal broker, Next Home Paradise Realty over in Kona, Hawaii, bringing you another property tour. All right, this is another special one, guys. I know, I, listen, I try to bring you guys great properties all the time, you know that. But sometimes we have special 10X special properties that are truly spectacular and outstanding, one of a kind. This is one of them. You're going to want to stay and watch the whole thing. This is a ridiculously awesome, huge, beautiful, one of a kind house. This is listed by Jonathan McComsley over at Corcoran. Big thanks to him for letting me bring this to you. I'm gonna give you a couple of the stats. Uh, four bedrooms, four baths, two half, ba half baths, 4,480 square feet, 9,000 square feet under roof. Uh, one of the best views I've ever seen in Kona. I mean, truly one of the best ever. There's a lot to get to. Solar photo photovoltaic, uh, four car garage with a pool through. We're on five beautiful acres um, up here in Makalani. And let's get going. We have a large circle drive with our custom concrete done here. Nice rock wall work. Red ginger, pink ginger, heliconias. Those are our pink heliconias, lobster claw heliconias. We got acres up there of grass. You can make that coffee or they've got, I think something like 75 dwarf mangoes here on the property. Pretty spectacular. Uh, look at this beautiful, impressive royal palm that we have here at our entry and inside. I like to name some of these really special houses. I'm not sure the name I'm going to have for this one yet, but uh, it definitely deserves a name. Maybe I'll call this the gallery house because inside is absolutely spectacular. All right, so we got a stucco exterior. We have these nice large posts, very impressive. We have the lower two and a half feet is this lava rock wall. <laughs> Look at this lava work that they did here. They made sure to dye the mortar in between nice and black so it looks sharp. And then this impressive setup right here, all the way up. This is like a <laughs> French Renaissance home or something, or uh, maybe Baroque. I don't have all my art history dialed in quite yet. You'll have to, you'll have to forgive me, guys. Check out this tile mosaic of the islands, pretty gorgeous. Uh, it's, this house was designed after a plantation home built in the 1920s over on Kauai. And let's get inside and check it out. There's going to be so much that it's, you know, you're probably gonna have to pause and just check it out at times. Got a nice inlay here. You will be able to tell quite quickly that these people have very uh, awesome taste in decoration and art. Um, there's just so much here. We come in our entryway, nice large ceilings up to a 12 foot coffered ceiling. See this beautiful setup that they have here greeting you right as you come in on this impressive table. We got the grand piano, baby grand, concert grand, I don't know, it's grand something. That's a nice piano with a gorgeous chandelier. Um, they've collected art from all over the world, which is pretty, pretty gorgeous in here. Uh, there's just so much to get to, it's going to be hard for me to know where to start. Let's um, tell you what, we're going to go starting over here into the owner's wing after we check out right here in the living room and do a quick pan around. Plenty of space here, beautiful art pieces that they have set up. The art is not included, that is personal. Um, and you can see we have a TV hidden behind uh, that built-in over there, really nice setup. Have these large French doors and a set of one, two, three, four. Looks like all the way down, maybe five or six of these going out to our pool and our view. I will get to that in a second, I promise you guys. Nice large dining room with an impressive built-in. We'll look at that granite. Let's go ahead and get going. Check out our wainscoting that we have framed in down here below. Beautiful woodwork, look at that. It's just that powerful colors. It moves in the light as I'm moving my angle 
to my eye. I don't know if that's coming out on camera. It just sort of shimmers differently. And then check out this marble that they got here with the light from underneath glowing. Stunning, guys. Pretty, pretty amazing. And we turn. We have a large closet. They keep their winter items on the mainland or for the mainland right there. Around here, laundry right by the master bedroom. I really like doing that. I've talked about that before, guys. A lot of times it's just a couple of us in the house and the bedroom will be on one side of the house and the laundry will be clear on the other. And so you're hiking your laundry, your dirty clothes and your clean clothes all the way across. Um, it's nice they have it right here. Check out the, the cabinets, double stack cabinets on top, plenty of storage uh, here. And then into the bedroom, obviously spectacular, large, uh, beautiful king size bed, plenty of room in here for whatever setup you want. Pretty impressive armoire piece that they have over there. And spinning around, we got our nice mirror there. There I am, guys. And then just the details, all these things going around. Check out the hinges on this door. I mean, come on, you gotta be kidding me. This is unbelievable next level beauty closet on this side as we come in here to the bathroom and then her closet over on this side with plenty of space check out these handles i mean this is just it's like a it's like living in a gallery it is absolutely spectacular pushed out even more Closet over here, and then check out this built-in. This is a really nice dresser, but it's got some hidden features. And uh, look at that, nice. Boom, you can keep your valuables right there. You didn't even know that was there, did you? Yeah, pretty nice setup on that. And coming through to our bathroom, we're still up here at these 12-foot ceilings. Uh, beautiful crown molding on top, check out the Check out the COVID. I mean, this is just spectacular stuff. Look here at our sink. Pretty, pretty gorgeous. We're seeing this same uh, countertop throughout the home. Absolutely gorgeous. And look how they stacked that up. So, wow, they did, they rolled. Wow, okay, next level here. We're gonna get down the details, guys. This is still a double stack rolled Right, so they cut the piece. They took this piece that was over here, that seam, they flipped it upside down so that that line still lines up with the piece on top. And then they did this multi-beveling sort of look there. So usually when we've seen this, it's been a straight line. They polish both sides. They put it up there really nice with the laser cut. Or they'll cut it at a 45, slide it in, polish really nice. We haven't seen it double stack rolled and the beveling on there. Super attention to detail on that. Look at this bathtub, gold <laughs> claw. I think you call that a claw still. Uh, bathtub with the most awesome chandelier I've seen in a house. Pretty outstanding. We got some closets over here, second sink. And as we work our way through to our large shower, one little step across. And then beautiful shower set up here. And tile all the way to the top of our 12 foot ceilings in here. And oh yeah, we have an outdoor shower too. Let's make our way out there. I'm gonna try and do what I can to be quicker for you guys. Okay, so, well after this, we're gonna check out this and then we're gonna go look at the pool. Come out here to this outdoor shower area. And of course, here's a pretty piece. This is from Bali. I mean, look at that. That is beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. Got some rose bushes over here. I feel like I'm in a dream. We got a couple of air conditioning compressors right here. They're on right now. Traditional AC compressors. And then over here to our outdoor shower, lava rock wall. We have our river stone bottom. I'm gonna pan up. Here's your hot and cold water with your copper piping. Going up, nice tile mosaic. I mean, this is really gorgeous. Sink over here, got their 
orchids all tied in, really smart. I like that setup. Keep those orchids in here and keep it nice and gorgeous. And a second sink. And we got a couple pots here with our hibiscus. Oh my gosh. And then over here they use the turf. I really like that. You guys know I've been big on that lately. No mowing, no messing, looks beautiful. And then our downspouts have the chains. Well, these aren't just normal chains. Wow, pretty cool. Look at all, all the, I think it's anthurium, right? Over here, huge lanai, we'll get to that. I know you wanna see the view. Boom, that is a view. This is really one of the best views in town I think I've ever seen. All kinds of ocean view, sweeping ocean shoreline. Uh, the only thing blocking the shoreline in any of these spots are pretty much your own trees. We got these palm trees down here, a couple of palm trees in front of us, and it looks like uh, a monkey pod tree. You may want to remove that, who knows? Looks like it's on your property too. And then we got 75 of these dwarf mango trees, so they don't get nearly as big, but you got tons of mango. Uh, and this is all terrace. They must have spent, just looking at the terracing and the rock wall work, they spent seven figures on site work on this property before they even started building the house. Pretty spectacular. We have a hot tub here. Okay, so these are 18 inch tiles. So one, three, six, nine, 12, 13 and a half feet long. I don't even think I have, uh, I don't know. I, we have to have a party to fill that thing up. Pretty spectacular. And we got a heated pool, nice and long. I'm gonna guess this is about 45 or 50 feet long. Really huge, your view all the way out to town. Lyman's, I mean, this is just absolutely spectacular. We got our waterfall edge. And then check over there. We got this gorgeous, let me get that framed right. Uh, looks like it's a bronze, yeah, uh, statue. It looks a little small on camera. It's about five and a half feet tall uh, with the hammerhead sharks. Tile bottom on the pool, absolutely spectacular. More turf, and then we do switch to grass over there at the far side, quite a bit. We'll come back out and check this view in a second. We're using this as an opportunity to show you this lanai. So these are 24 by 24 tile, and they go on forever. I mean, okay. So here's that door from the owner's suite. There's our living room. We still have to get to our kitchen. There's a, another bedroom being used as a library down there. Coppered ceilings out here as well. They didn't just go basic. These beautiful ceiling fans, these impressive pillars all the way around. I mean, this is a huge outdoor area. They got a table, a table, a lounge area, room for a workout area, art. I mean, they just, there's so much space on here. Super impressive. Let's go down and check out a few things here. I um, was lucky enough to take my lovely wife on a trip to Italy last month. And we're seeing some things here that I know came from the Amalfi region. Because they're known over there for their lemons. You can see on these pots. These guys have brought back art and collectibles from all over the world. Man, these guys have good taste. Really um, gorgeous pieces. There's another one over there, really nice. But back to the house, crown molding on top of these doors. Really nice setup on that. You can see the lanai continues all the way around to the next bedroom. We have our outdoor kitchen, we have a traditional grill, we got a built-in grill. Um, let's see here, got a sink over here. They got it all covered up, nice. Uh, refrigerator, good setup on that. I'm gonna come around here and this is your guest suite, and it's a really cool setup because it is actually totally separated from the main house. It actually doesn't share any walls with the main house. You have this corridor, so they can come park in here, park down there, and come here and access their guest seat suite directly. Um, they got their own lanai. Oh, look. Well, I missed that, so we're going to walk out there and check that out. There's a lot to take in. This is five acres of just beauty. Check out this setup. They got the fire pit out here. Can you guys believe this? Look at this. This is where you do your evenings. Pretty spectacular. Good setup. All right, let's run back. Look at all the grass. We got some more mango trees. You can see all that grass up there. That's all this property with rock wall, rock wall work. There we go, Mike. Over there. Pretty spectacular setup. Okay, let's get back here 
sorry for the tangent we went on there. Get back here into the guest suite. Your guests will be happy to stay in here. Their own suite, absolutely gorgeous. They did nothing. They didn't say, oh, it's the guest suite. Let's just, you know, go basic. Uh, it's still beautiful in here. Large closet that we have over here. Yeah, with an impressive built-in, nice setup. Yeah, that's some Amalfi Coast stuff right there. Looks like, oh, maybe. Yeah, and then we got a built-in over here with a little refrigerator. Nice setup for their convenience. Got that same countertop that we've seen in the house. They keep that nice, consistent look throughout. Dual basin sink. Nice stamped. Uh, press, whatever you call that metal, and then I uh, really like the faucet work that they did on that. I mean, these guys took some time in selecting everything that they have in this house. There's our bathtub over here, privacy door for our toilet over here, spinning around, walk in shower. So we got a tub and a shower, and tile all the way up to the top. 12 foot ceilings in here still, and then make sure I open this up right. There we go their own washer and dryer. So great, they don't have to bother you for doing the clothes. They got it there on their own. Nice setup on that. Okay, that's the guest suite. Pretty, pretty spectacular. Since I'm on this side of the house, we're gonna spin around and we're gonna check out the garage, which I think I have. This is our access out to our garage, which is pretty spectacular. Okay. They even have music piped in here to the garage, guys. I don't know if it's coming out, um, but we've got the speaker system that they have going throughout the house with this nice Hawaiian music is out here. It's in the garage too. So we have our epoxy floor, room for one, two, three, four cars, and uh, tons of work area still. Um, this is the backup of where our um, guest suite was. One thing that's really cool is this last garage door is extra tall. Like they still got the Hummer in here, but they got the last garage door that's extra tall and it's a full on pull through. So if you need to go all the way through and out the back, uh, you can do that here. So really, really smart setup on that. Let me see if we can go through here, out the back. Yeah, and then, <laughs> A pad there so if you need to park something there out of view of everyone more rock wall work over here uh, got a tomato garden you hear how quiet the uh, split systems are totally different from the other system that we had uh, on the other side of the house so pretty awesome on that okay stay with me guys you've come this far oh of course I'm gonna tell you my three favorite things about this property I'm not even gonna pretend that there's gonna be something I would change um, it would be, yeah, like, there's nothing I would change. It would be insulting for me to try and come up with something even. This is just uh, so awesome. All right, so I'm gonna come back here through our front door and we're gonna work to the other wing of the house. There's a couple things that they did that are truly awesome. Oh, look at this nice copper set up here. Okay, so back here into the front door as we're coming around. Let's go through the dining room and the kitchen. You have options. So we have this nice table, room for eight. So obviously you have the space to put in a large uh, dining room setup if you want to do that down here. But you might be eating out on the lanai. And then incredible built-in and display. Uh, if you have things like that that you want to display, some nice crystals and then the display they have there with their things. Nice little prep sink right here, bar sink. Really cool setup on that. And then we come in here to the kitchen and I'm gonna miss some stuff in here, guys, cause there's just so much. And Jonathan did a really good job of showing me everything, but I mean, it's overwhelming. Um, we saw these in Italy. These are um, Murano glass chandeliers. Incredible craftsmanship on that. They got someone to come in just from, from the mainland just to do these tile backsplashes that you've seen in a few rooms throughout the house. Beautiful cabinets with displays. Of course, we got lights inside. We don't just have your Home Depot or Lowe's handles on this stuff, guys. Pretty nice setup here. And then down here throughout, you can see these things 
are really well set up. Obviously, soft clothes and dovetail joints. We got dual dishwashers, one here and one on the other side. Super impressive. And this beautiful hammered copper sink. I mean, this is gorgeous, guys. Look at that. Something really special. Pantry, yeah, we got a pantry. All the pantry you'll ever need. So good setup on that, 12 foot ceiling in there still. And then we have our wine cooler. That's a Sub-Zero. And what I also like is you got refrigerator drawers down below. Continuing on. Uh, so this is really after my heart right now because we were, like I said, we were just in Italy and I actually brought back some cappuccino, I'm sorry, espresso cups um, from Positano. Got the Mille espresso maker. Really nice setup on that. More displays, just gorgeous, intricate attention to detail throughout. All right, still, we have this huge slab. Gosh, we're looking at 12 plus feet long, four and a half feet wide. We have our nice, we went over the, the custom rolling on that and then this nice piece that they have below it with the pedestal and the intricate work that we've done down here, amazing. And then we have our freezer over here, counter depth sub-zero copper handles with the two freezer drawers down below. And that is matched with the refrigerator on the other side. Same thing, counter depth sub-zero, two drawers down below, plenty of space on that. Have a sharp microwave down here below. Nice setup and then continuing back Check out this, it's a Thermador, dual oven, six burner. I love these blue knobs. <laughs> so Wolf has the red ones. These guys have the blue ones. I think I like the blue a little better. Uh, with your griddle on here, with your pot filler, with your water, and then your vent hidden in here. So you got your vent there, but they didn't want that big metal thing going up and ruining the aesthetic of the room. So pretty cool. I don't even want to guess how big the cabinets are. I usually will tell you if it's 42 inch cabinets on the uppers or if it's double stack. I think this is 42 double stack um, with a, you know, 18 inch crown uh, and then a crown molding on the top with LED lights. I, it's just unbelievable. All right, kitchen rocks, guys. Um, I mean, just the level of detail on everything throughout this house. I don't even, I mean, there's no comps for this. Here we go, more of the incredible hinge work. This is actually our, let's see, bedroom number three. We have our main bedroom and our guest bedroom. They're using it as a study, as an office, and I would not change it. I don't even read books, and I just want to sit here and feel smarter. Look at this. Um, wow. That, wow, look at this art piece. All right, even if you're not into art. I mean, unbelievable. And then... Boy, this looks like some really old copper piece that they've brought in with some patina in there. Absolutely spectacular. They got some collectibles and stuff. They got the books. Uh, I like that they have the little ladder on the rail and they can pull it off and put it over there to access the books on top. Really nice. And you come in here, re-study. You got full bathroom. Here we go. Shower. Look at that tile mosaic that they have in there. Different granites. Gorgeous. Hammered, I don't know, nickel. I'm gonna go with nickel. Sink on that, spinning around. They got a TV here. It's a nice little setup. Try this old belt driven, I say old, but it doesn't look old. Belt driven ceiling fan. Hey, if you've been to the Kona Inn and you remember the belt driven ceiling fans, smash a like button on that for me. Um, really cool setup here. Okay, so this is a bedroom. I feel like I missed something. Besides, let's see, we came through here, we did that. We got that right. Uh, oh, let's see. This is another service door out. There's our garage over there. Let me spin around, trying not to jar you guys around or spin you too much. Oh, I didn't even get, to, so yeah, we got the pool house to get to. That was what I missed over here, it was the half bath. So, 
here we go and oh wow, look at that marble again even when it's not lit up from below like it was uh, going into the master bedroom it still looks pretty spectacular here's your half bath here guys look at that sink wow look at those fixtures absolutely gorgeous i mean the work it takes i mean just take a second here and just okay let's look at this the craftsmanship this isn't just something they bought at Lowe's and put in here. This was built exactly for this size. Um, I mean, someone probably spent a week building this bathroom out after everything was sourced, which again, was not going to be, that's not an easy task either. Toilet over here. And we've got some Japanese artwork in here. They've got artwork from all over. Um, pretty spectacular on that. Okay, we're gonna make our way back outside because that's where we're gonna finish up. We're gonna take in the pool and the view a little bit more, but we still have to get to our final bedroom. And it's the pool house, which is being used as a bedroom now. So another standalone area. So when you have your guests over, I mean, they can have the pool house, they can have the suite. Um, I'm taking the pool house. Heck, I might make this my main. I don't know. Yeah, I do like that outdoor shower there. I like walking out and just hopping in the hot tub. There it is. There's the shot, guys. Nice. Or, you know what? There's the shot, guys. I could say that a number of spots. Okay, we got a double French door, double door, or a French door entry here into the pool house. Plenty of room for any size bed that you want. I think we got a king size bed there. Pretty nice setup. And coming on through, we have. Again, we're not going to go basic on anything. Check out the sink. This is a spectacular setup. I have the price down in the comments below. I know sometimes people ask me the price. You'll always find the price down in the comments. Or I'm sorry, in the uh, description. And I usually put it on my thumbnail as well. So if you have questions about that, you can always look down in the description. And sometimes prices change. And I do put subject to change. Uh, I try to update them when I know that they have changed so that you guys will always get the most accurate pricing. And, uh, oh look, they have these tiki torches here, which is really nice. And they have them coming out of the pots, which have been placed there. That's a little nice attention to detail. And they got two on the other side. Got one, two, three of these impressive vessels that they have here. Uh, standing seam metal roof, of course. Um, just everything you could possibly need. Okay, my three favorite things about the property. Where do we begin, guys? I'm not even gonna count them anymore. I'm just gonna tell you the things I like. Number one, the site is pretty spectacular. Uh, we don't have, when you get up here to about 1,400 feet or so, and I'm not exactly sure how high we are, but 800, 14, somewhere in there, it gets steep. And when you get up steep and then you're able to build there, that's when you have the absolute best views because no one can put anything in front of you because it goes down so quick. Uh, it gives you these spectacular sweeping ocean views and coastline views. This is a gray day, guys, and it still looks pretty, uh, pretty incredible. Um, your view is never going to be uh, impacted by, by others. So that's number one. The other thing I like about this view or this location is when you're up here, it gets more airflow even on really still days like today. Uh, the wind has to accelerate as it comes up the hill. Uh, so really nice setup. I also love just the size of this pool We see a lot of people who do pools and sometimes they'll do infinity pools, which is fine um, But the size of this pool is really good. It's very functional um, And it's a real piece The other thing I like about this house is the absolute size of it Just the mass 12 foot ceilings coffered ceilings Everything's done really big like this is, this is someone's forever home. Um, and the folks who built this had not intended on selling it. Life happens. Um, and so now they are, but obviously they put an incredible amount of care and thought into every minute detail of this home. And you can tell like there's, if there was something that happened or something that needed to be fixed or something that was wrong, they fixed it. Like this isn't the type of ownership where you have to buy it and wonder, what am I gonna find after I get there? Like that's not this house um at all um what else do i like I like having the detached guest suite over here which is really cool i like that we have this um i don't know if we have this open i can get in we do i like the library the study in here 
I think this is just so cool. Um, I mean, that's not very common. Uh, the size of the master bedroom, uh, the absolute impressiveness of this kitchen. These are things that are just totally, totally incredible. Um, absolutely love it. Um, can't find anything wrong with this. I hope you really like this video. See you again real soon.